But they said my father was about to be released. There must be some kind of mistake. You have to double check. Even if there has been a mistake, it's too late. His execution will be carried out as planned. Now, if I've made myself understood, off with you. <sighs> Oh, didn't expect to see you here. Katsu wanted me to meet Shosaku Narasaki. He's the doctor who supposedly figured out how to cure cholera. But it sounds like they're about to take off his head. Katsu never said a thing about that. It's all very strange. That was the doctor's daughter just now. Better go see what's going on. Hey, what are you thinking? I'm thinking to break my father out of there. Whoa, slow down. Let's not do anything reckless. We will find a way to help your father, okay? You know what we have to do, right? We're going to sneak in. Good thing you came. Couldn't pull this off without you. I've given it some thought. Why don't we kick up a fuss around here and get ourselves arrested? It'll get us inside, which is a start, at least. Pretty ingenious, wouldn't you say? Okay, let's do it. Just focus on getting locked up as soon as possible. You ready? No time like the present. Bravo! So you're Dr. Narasaki, are you? Just sit tight for a second. You find the key? <laughs> that woman is quite something. This is madness, Odeo. What were you thinking? But I owe you my thanks. Now. What do you want? I'm sure you didn't rescue me out of purely goodwill. They locked me up, and now they want my help. Well, whatever it takes to ease people's suffering. Cholera treatment. You must mean the medical school in Kanda. There will be an uproar if I don't show up soon. I'll be off. Wait, are we all right? I'm Ryoma Sakamoto. We're both Ryos. This must be a sign. Can I see you again? A sign, you say? Hmm, maybe I'll give you a chance. That's fine work. Thanks to you, it looks like we have what we need to revitalize the Shogunate. Now, I had my men look into the samurai you mentioned. Word is they're working for the Brits as an intermediary. Setting up weapon sales with the high and mighty. Something smells rotten, though. And someone in my position can't afford to turn a blind eye. In fact, not all the men I sent to investigate have come back. I have to assume the worst. This has grown beyond your pet project. I need to keep looking into this. But let's leave that conversation for another time. I sent the best of the men you gathered to the military academy, by the way. You should take a look at yourselves. It's a new style of dojo, where they teach more than just the sword. Namely, firearm proficiency and horsemanship to Western standards. Ah, oh, that sounds interesting. I might go and take a peek right now. See you there, okay? Man of action, isn't he? Now, there's one more favor I'd like to ask of you. Enomoto says we don't have the funds to buy ourselves guns or artillery. When I mentioned this to Mr. Brunet, 
He suggested we try selling Japanese crafts at the International Exposition in Paris. Viscount Shibusawa, our money man, will know exactly what to do. Will you take this letter and offer him any help he might require? You'll find him at the South Commissioner's office. That's all for now. But don't think I won't ask you for more favors if you come back. Feel free to drop by the Military Academy first, though. You won't want to miss what's going on there. Ryoma, for better or worse, Izo sees things in black and white. He's beyond my help. He's convinced that because some officials are responsible for the people's suffering, simply killing the right men in power will fix everything. So, nothing's changed since we were in Yokohama. I had a feeling Izo was going to turn on me before long. I had thought Ryoma was the only one who could reach him. I didn't think I had much of a choice. I mean, I'm not planning on dying just yet. Sorry, let's do dinner another day. And I really am going to make this up to you. izo has got Master Showin's teachings all wrong. I thought maybe if he talked to Katsu, he'd quickly realize his mistake. Talking to you always makes me feel better. But I just can't look the other way. It's clear we have to do something about Izo. Far too much blood will be spilled if we leave him be. Hey, can we go out for a bit? Let's find somewhere with a good view, shall we? This seems like a good place to talk. Truth is, I've been getting a lot of cold looks from people lately. I guess I see why. We do have connections with both the anti- and pro-shogunate sides. But how can we forge a new Japan if we're bound by social obligation? We're free agents, Ronin, so we need to act like it. They can call me shameless all they want. I've only ever done what I thought was right. Hmm. I hope you're right. It's not easy to shed social ties for ambition's sake. I admire that about you. I really do. It doesn't come easy to me for fear of others' judgment. But you really don't seem concerned in the slightest. You're like a free bird in a big blue sky. So I'm going to keep moving forward, even if people do talk behind my back. Maybe one day I'll be able to take off and fly up there with you. No, wait. If you're a bird, then I get to be a dragon. <laughs> You'll see me soaring ahead of you one day, I promise. Ah, you're finally here. I asked if you could enter the competition, by the way. I knew it, I knew it! I knew that's exactly what you'd say. I heard the Shogun himself will give you your prize if you win three matches. Can't say the prize isn't appealing. But honestly, I really just want to meet the Shogun in person. They say he's sharp, you know. And sensible, too. So, are you ready to fight? Then off you go! With your skills, you can't lose. Just go mop the floor with them.
His name is Teshu Yamalka. We use the same dueling style, and he's very good at it. He's known to be a tough one. They say he can pierce steel with a wooden sword. Then get going. I'm in your corner, remember. Make me proud. You did it! The prize is ours! I saw the whole thing! A fine display. Now, how about we test those skills in one last bout? Oh boy. Now you want a piece of the action? As long as you don't make us forfeit the prize if we lose. Come on, this may be an official duel, but we wouldn't do something like that. But His Excellency did say he would like to witness you fight one more time. Which is why I, busy though I am, have come to make this request. Oh, and His Excellency has requested real swords for the next duel. Your opponent has already given his consent. No two ways about it, your life will be on the line. So, how about we sweeten the pot to make up for it? After all you've been through, you're not scared of real steel, are you? Just one more bout to go, my friend. Ready to go? I know you're going to win whoever it is you're up against. I believe in you! Certainly showed me. Hmm? Ah! Hey, I know you. We met in Yoshiwara. <laughs> Mistaken identity, I am sure. I am Yoshinobu Tokugawa, the Shogun. The Shogun? Are you serious? <laughs> Seems I let the cat out of the bag. We had no intention of disrespecting you, uh, Your Excellency. Hey, uh, where are your manners? No need to be concerned. Losing to you was invigorating. Invigorating? Indeed. I mean, you dodged a shuriken. Finding warriors like you is no easy feat. Ah, the next bout. With warriors of this caliber, I know I can put Japan back on its feet. I will make our nation the equal of any foreign land. You wait and see. Gatsu says he's got another favor to ask of us. Apparently, it's something he can't ask anyone else. Huh? That wasn't much of a reaction. Still don't like the idea of working for Katsu. This is far better than all the... shady stuff we did before, isn't it? I've got a feeling we're about to be given something big to do. And I, for one, can't wait. I'll get going first. Let's meet at Katsu's place. Sorry for the trouble, but there's something I need you to do. Top secret stuff. I'm serious. Not a word to anyone. I take it you heard His Excellency is heading to Kyoto. Well, a group of Ronin, the Roshigumi, has been assembled to act as his escort. They're recruiting the best around, no matter their background. Even a criminal record is no problem. It's a pretty brave move. Lord Katamori, the military commissioner of Kyoto, claims it's to give the peasantry the chance to earn a decent living. But, in reality, 
He's luring the Shogun's enemies in, so he can wipe them out all at once. He might look like a pretty boy, but he's a sly one. No question. Hmm. You Shogunate heavyweights come up with all sorts of things. I'm just afraid things might heat up, putting the Shogun in danger. I need people I can trust inside the Roshigumi, to see which way the wind is blowing. How about it? You two would be perfect. Come on, don't be like that. Look, I won't lie to you. Were you to die, I would brush it off and act like it never happened. But it's not going to come to that. I have every faith you can do this. No objections here. Sign me up. And what about you? I can't guarantee that, but I'll tell you this. Your chances are better there than in Edo. I'm certain. Thank you. I'm truly in your debt. Right. The Densuin Temple in Koishikawa is about to be flooded with hopefuls. Head there and report back. We'd better hurry if it's already happening. To Denzuin Temple. Well, look who it is. So you and Yoma are planning on signing up? Hmm. I had a feeling you'd come. Teshu Yamaoka and I are overseeing the Roshigumi. Seems I got a little leg up thanks to you both. Much obliged. Excuse me. I'm Koto Nakazawa. I'm here to join the Roshigumi too. Yes, well, uh, I'm afraid you three will just have to turn around. We've already got so many applicants, you see? I heard you were looking for strong warriors. Well, if you think anyone is stronger than me, I'll face them here and now. <sighs> Must they all be like this? Hachiro, we have another fire to put out. Seems those two from before are picking fights with anyone and everyone. You mean those tearaways from the backwater dojo? Yes, we've got no choice but to make them settle down ourselves. Please, allow me the honor. But, if I get them to behave, I want in. How's that sound? It's a deal. Honestly, those two have me at my wit's end. If you could deal with them, I would greatly appreciate it. Same goes for you two. Subdue that rowdy bunch inside and you're in. You'll get no favors from me just because I know you. Just think of this as an entrance exam, okay? Now prove to me you've got what it takes. That's the spirit. They were trained out in the sticks, right? Piece of cake. We'll be done before you know it. Not at all bad for a drunken! That's enough, don't you think? Zoji, you're here too, I see. It. Hmm. You put on quite a show. This is Soji Okita of the Tenen Rishinryu. I'm Kondo, and this is Ichikata. Also at the Tenen Rishinryu. You would do well in our most elite unit, the Roshigumi.
<laughs> have you heard? Seems a bunch of ruffians have taken over the checkpoint. They'll let folks pass in the evening, but not without paying first. We could try to force our way through, of course, but there's a lot of them. We'd risk losing good men. I heard Genzui and his men have made it to the Ejuri post, too. This could be the perfect chance. Listen, the men from Choshu are at the checkpoint as we speak. What say we team up with them and take on those thugs? What? Choshu, you say? The ones plotting against His Excellency? Exactly. If they get wiped out too, we kill two birds with one stone. Huh. Not bad. I'll go and broach the idea. You'd best come with me. What can I say? I'm a genius, right? If that's what you think, you haven't caught on to what my true goal is. You don't get it, do you? I'm trying to make Genzui and the others realize that not everyone on the Shogun side is a bad egg. This is going to work. You'll see. So it's you, is it? It's been a while? Come on, tell me what you're up to. Well, to cut a long story short, we've joined the Roshigomi. But we're stuck here, thanks to those ruffians. I get the feeling we're all facing the same problem. So, how about we team up and teach them a lesson? Kiyokawa, head of the Roshigumi at your service. You must be Kogoro Katsura, master of the Shinto Munenryu. Your reputation precedes you. I would gladly join forces with you. Ah, oh, so you are Hachiro Kiyokawa of the Hokushin Ittoryu, but... You can't expect me to work with the Shogun's men. Ah, don't be so petty. We're in the same boat. We need all hands on deck. Exactly. Come on, Katsura. Let's get out of this damn place. All right, I hear you. And no, I don't have any better ideas. The last thing I want is to lose men here. Listen, go and round up Shinsoku and Genzui, will you? I wouldn't want to go into battle without them. Shinsoku said he planned to do some sniffing around the local gambling den. And Genzui just had it out himself. We don't want the thugs getting suspicious. This is a job that demands discretion, and that makes you the perfect fit. And worst case, if those two aren't interested in joining us, we all just need to fight this battle with our current numbers. about a manly drinking contest. Oh. <coughs> if you insist, my dear. You are lovable one, aren't you? Oh, you can really drink, can't you? Don't be shy. Drink, drink. Hey, huh? what's an expulsionist doing with the beer? We'll expel the foreigners. But their drinks can remain. Kanpai! Kanpai. Don't forget me. Kanpai! Lago! Lago! Right there. Looks like I'm up next. <laughs> Give us a good one, all right? <laughs> Sir, there are some awful rumors going around. They're saying Hachiro's been killed. 
and he was secretly involved with the anti-Shogunate faction. I am sorry to say, but it's all true. His body was found in the city last night. No! He's dead? It can't be. There was a message to the Kyoto rebels in his pocket. He was trying to sell the Roshigumi services to the highest bidder. Hachiro, of all people, with the anti-shogun a bunch, that snake. Do we know who took him out? Not yet, which makes me think. Whoever was helping Kyokawa communicate with the other side could in fact be a member of our outfit. Now that I recall, wasn't it Kyokawa who brought you both into the Roshigumi? Right. Come on, Kondo. You don't really think we're traitors, do you? Sorry, I... I shouldn't have doubted you. Look, I'm just a little thrown by everything. Look, Kondo's not the only one to have started questioning his comrades' loyalties. Everyone's getting a bit jumpy, as I feared they would. If we stay in Kyoto, this could very well tear us apart. Which is why the Shogun has ordered us back to Edo. Right now? I can't get on board with sudden orders like that. Rebels have infiltrated us, and you want us to leave as if nothing's happened. Shouldn't it be our top priority to protect His Excellency while he's in Kyoto? No. We would only be putting his life in danger. Imagine letting a traitor get close to the Shogun. The shame that would bring. I'll summon the entire outfit before long. In the meantime, try to calm yourself. You each need to have a good think about a proper course of action. There's a lot to chew on. But we need to decide what our next steps will be. Katsu asked us to investigate what was going on inside the Roshigumi. If they dissolve it, we're out of a job. And Kondo's on a new mission, taking action with the volunteers. If that's the case, I think we have two options. Either we work together with Kondo's group, or we take this as our cue to leave. I don't really know which is the right thing to do. But we have to make a choice. Hmm. If we parted ways with Kondo, we could ferret out what they're up to. We wouldn't have to answer to anyone, but we'd be on our own. Maybe we should just side with the anti-Shogunate faction. For better or for worse, Katsura and the others would be our allies. We'll have to make sure the troops left in Kyoto behave themselves, while trying to root out any anti-Shogunate saboteurs. And if Katsura and his men do try to take a shot at the Shogun, we'll have a fight on our hands. Yes. So we'll part ways with Kondo and his men here and now. It's been a while since we've seen Katsura, so let's go fix that. The thing is, we're not really part of either faction. I know that whichever path we choose, we'll be doing it for Japan's future. Wow, is it time already? Is anyone else going to show? Looks like everyone's here. We'll 
are now going to negotiate directly with Lord Katamori to offer our services in Kyoto. All who have the guts, follow me! Any who wish to work with me in Edo, let us go together in the morning. Otherwise, be gone from here. Hmm. Are they mad? Filthy traitors. Bold move, showing your face here. We might have joined forces at Ejiri Post, but you didn't expect us to welcome you back with open arms, did you? Word is that Kyokawa has died. I suppose that's why you two have shown up now. I thought as much. Katsura, the reason we joined the Roshigomi, the reason we're here now, We've only ever done what we thought was right. I'm not saying we can go back to the way things were before, but will you let us join your fight, at least for the time being? Very well. I always knew I'd eventually have need of you again. There's an assembly taking place at the Ikeda Inn soon. You two should come. Of course. Just follow along behind me. Listen, at the meeting there will be warriors other than the Choshu present. Look out for Master Miyabe of Kumamoto, a great figure in our movement. I consider him as great a man as Master Shoin. Be sure to talk to him. Gensui. So many willing to die for an idea. They never think about those left behind. <laughs> Gensui was chasing your brother's dream. For all our sakes, he wanted to build us a new Japan. I'm afraid I would never understand. How can you create a peaceful world? You had enough! The battle is over! Yeah. I rounded up the rest of them! Come! I'm putting a stop to this. There's been enough bloodshed! The Choshu survivors have fled to that temple. I don't know if Shinsaku is there. But we need to get inside and help them. I'd like to avoid fighting the Shogun's men. But that might not be easy. Are you prepared? I hope so, but I don't know. The Shogun's forces, especially the Shinsengumi, have eyes and ears everywhere. Should have known you'd be ready for anything. If they find out we helped the Choshu now, they may well brand us as traitors. But we need to act now, before it's too late. Come on, let's make our move. skills. Perhaps you might consider... No. Never mind. <coughs> 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 
You did well to stop him. Now, let's get Shinsaku out of here. Yes, I thought the same. But first things first, we need to help Shinsaku. We should be able to get him to the Choshu's Kyoto estate. With all of this going on, I'm hoping the defenses there have thinned. He's in trouble if we don't get him to a doctor right away. Come on, let's hurry! If it wasn't for you, I would have been done for. I seriously thought it was the end for me. But thanks to you, I live to tell the tale. It was Oryo who saved you, really. <sighs> I didn't know you were such an expert. The expert is my father. All I did was follow his instructions. To you and your father, I can never thank you enough. If you had not come, many lives would have been lost. And I must say, your arrival was a very nice surprise. I never thought this would be my chance to see you again. <laughs> it seems too good to be true, doesn't it? Clearly, fate has something in store for the two of you. Uh, I... I don't know about that. <laughs> that aside, uh, what happened to Katsura? Do you know where he is? No. He vanished after the incident they get in. But then this letter arrived here just this morning. Let's see here. I'm in Kamogawa. Your time has come. Rise as one. And do you think this is Katsura? I can't say for certain. But anyone who would know Master Shon's last words must have seen his end. You're right. That way we'll know for sure. Katsura's the man in charge. If he doesn't show his face soon, it's going to be hard to keep everyone in line. Regretfully, I would have to leave this one up to you. I'm still not too steady on my feet. Also, it feels like I'm coming down with a cold. <coughs> mm, not a problem. We'll head there as soon as we're ready. There's a longhouse you can use in Kyoto. Rest up there. Once you're all set, join me in Kamogawa. Be careful, Ryoma. I will. Just look after Shinsaku, won't you? Can you help me with something? It's to do with his own. Seems he's also here in Kyoto. I was thinking we could go talk some sense into him. He's hiding out somewhere on the mountain, east of the Kamogawa River. Let's meet at the foot of the mountain. Look. Seems he was some kind of shogunate big shot. No. But look at how he's been killed. Stabbed right in the throat. He's always handiwork if ever I saw it. His hideout must be close by. I'm sure of it. Probably that abandoned temple. Will you help me put a stop to Izo's madness? Yes, him. Seems he hasn't changed at all. I can't sit back and do nothing. Someone from my home has gone astray. Surely you understand. Isn't that why you're after the Demon Claw Samurai? Will you help me put a stop to Izo's madness? Let's wait until dark. He's sure to come crawling back to his hidey hole then. Take a look at this. A bullet. I don't know any enemy of the Shogunate who would use a pistol. This has to belong to Izo. I don't think he's here now, but if we wait long enough... 
I've been thinking for a while about what Master Shoin wanted us to do. Genzui and Diesel both claim to have taken on Master Shoin's mantle. But, well, you know how that's turned out. But I haven't taken the same path as them. Why do you think that is? That's true. Genzui wouldn't listen when Shinsaku tried to warn him. And Izo never had any intention of listening to Katsu. There's some truth to that. Genzui and Izo thought Master Shoin's teachings were all that mattered. But all Master Shoin did was invite people to think for themselves. Those two ended up closing their minds to any other ideas. You might be right. When Genzui raised an army in Kyoto, he didn't have Katsura. And Izo, he's always been alone. The true difference is that I've met people worth listening to, who've given me the chance to change and move forward. I'm lucky to have you, Katsu. Thank you. From the bottom of my heart. If I hadn't met you in that cave in Yokohama, I might have ended up like Izon. <laughs> That's music to my ears. Now I'm ready for anything. I just can't imagine my life if we hadn't. <clears throat> anyway, seems like he's all still isn't back. You should grab some sleep. I'll wake you when he comes. At last, my turn has come to be cut down. <clears throat> I'm no different to you. In that, we both have killed. When was it that I chose the wrong path? Please, don't let Ryoma be dragged down by dirty work. He is meant for much greater things. Than merely cutting down foes. More blood will be shed on this land. Keep Lioma safe with your blade, lest he suffer my fate. Sorry, I left you. <sighs> I wanted to be the one to settle things with Izo. And I really didn't want you to have to dirty your hands. But you had to step in and save the day anyway. I'm sorry, truly. It won't happen again. We're in this together. And I won't let you down. Let me bury Izo alone. I think it's what he would have wanted. You should head back first. What the hell happened here? Looks like these men were still breathing pretty recently. This doesn't bode well for Katsura. We need to find him now. Right. I'll start over there. Thank the stars. Glad it was you two who showed up. Katsura, 
I had a feeling that was you. What are you doing in that getter? The Joshu men feared the worst. I've been looking into the Shogunate's next moves, but I've let down my comrades by not being able to fight with them. Genzui, especially. It wasn't for nothing, though. I got my hands on some vital information. The Shogunate are going to send in a force to deal with the Choshu soon. The Shogunate is making a move. Hmm. They're seizing their chance to take the Choshu out once and for all. Indeed. And they're expecting the Satsuma to provide the best part of the force. Them again? But weren't they planning to revolt against the government? Well, the Satsuma are making a show of compliance to the Shogunate, which will spell the end of the Choshu. Any bright ideas? Hmm. <sighs> you know, I've always wondered why the Choshu and Satsuma don't just make an alliance. You're the only ones with enough power to bring about change in this country. If you joined forces, You'd be unstoppable. You're not wrong. It would be incredible. Could it be done? But the Satsuma and Choshu are sworn enemies. We cannot simply form an alliance. That's right. While the Satsuma and Choshu fight, the West eats our country alive. Is that really what you want? <sighs> I see what you're saying. Then we should ride to Kyomizadera Temple. Takamori Saiko of the Satsuma should be there at present, as far as I'm aware. He's the commander of the Satsuma forces right now. If we can persuade him, this plan might have legs. Let's meet at Kyomizadera Temple! Could I leave it to you too to broach the subject? I doubt he'll be in the mood to listen if an enemy like me shows up out of nowhere. No problem. We'll handle this. So, Saigo's in this temple, right? Ah, that's right. The former chief priest of this place, Gesho, was said to be close with Saigo, and I hear today is the anniversary of his death. I was told by a geisha who was clients from Satsuma. Apparently, he met his end during the Ansai Purge, where he and Saiga were persecuted. <sighs> it won't be easy. But as long as you're sincere, and make him understand that it's all in the best interest of the country, he'll come around. Hmm. <sighs> Okay. Time to head inside. We'll get kicked out if we just rush in. Better to wait for the right moment. The grounds are pretty big, so we should prioritize locating Saigo. Crossing blades with someone with no intention to kill is pointless. You said uh, you would like to speak to me. Hmm. Are you telling me to ignore the Shogun's direct orders? Preposterous. There is nothing I can do. Forget the Shogunate. I want to speak to you, not them. It was the Choshu who drew their swords first. And considering their behavior in Kyoto, how can we leave them be? Look, I understand Satsuma's perspective. Mm. But have you thought about our future? What do you mean? Hmm. Change this country? You, what are you saying? Saigo, deep down, I know you agree with me. There are things Satsuma can only accomplish with Choshu by its side. 
You want us to march alongside our sworn enemies? I simply cannot see it. And yet it can be so. If we should will it. But first, I should apologize. I am sorry. I could not stop the conflict earlier. <gasps> Katsura of the Choshu? What are you wearing? Oh, ignore these filthy rags. I assure you, my aspirations remain unsullied. As my associates have said, we must put aside our differences, even if it means moving heaven and earth. We must transform Japan. Katsura, I... I hear you. I accept your proposal. <laughs> Gesho, too, would have been glad to put an end to the bloodshed. Then it's settled. The Josho and Sasuma who joined forces. And we shall be the ones to see it through. You know, I've heard that in the West you're meant to hold hands and shake them on occasions like this. Go on. Try it. <sighs> Sego, I look forward to working with you. The pleasure is mine. <laughs> Don't you remember what I told you back then? That I had a dream as big as the damn ocean. <laughs> this way. <laughs> Like a plan. Ah, this is a real mess. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> After being attacked at the Terada Inn, Ryoma Sakamoto took refuge amongst the Satsuma clan. Might not be so lucky next time. I'm going to have to leave things to you for now. I'm counting on you. The day of reckoning is at hand. We joined forces with the Satsuma clan, but... Barely escape with our lives. How long can this alliance last? I fear it is built on sand. If we want to avenge Kusaka's death, we must act now. Genzui is dead. Shinsoku sick. And Ryoma missing. 
Frankly, need all the help we can get. I'm going to need you on our side. Actually, that may not be necessary. <laughs> well, well, look who it is. I figured you for dead. <laughs> or did you strike a deal with the Lord of Death? <laughs> I'm more surprised to see you still alive. I thought you'd be passing me on the way to hell. Sorry for all the worry I caused. But fear not, Oreo has fixed me up. Now, without further ado, I've got a solution to your problems. With my plan, we won't even need to fight. Really? Look, it's not that I don't trust you. Let's just say that staring death in the face can be inspirational. <clears throat> There's no time to waste. We have to show this to Lord Yoshinobu. There are no guards. Something feels off. Best be prepared for anything once we're inside. Are you ready? Okay, let's do it. Assassinating the Shogun? Why, you little one! Let me go! Surely you must see how wrong this all is! The Shogunate is merely an army and it controls the government! This nation must be restored to its rightful state! And who better to guide it than me? One who truly understands Japan! So, that's what you're after. Throw him in the cells. We can't afford to antagonize Britain right now. You will be prey to the great powers! The sacred soul of this land will be lost, I tell you! <laughs> what an odd fellow. No. I fear he's hit the nail on the head. Sometimes others see us more clearly than we see ourselves. You believe that drivel? Would you please take the time to look this over? I really think this might be the answer. At least, that's what I hope. Hmm. <laughs> Ryoma, answer me this. If the Shogun remains in the administration, how can that be a fresh start for our nation? The Tokugawa will contrive to take control again. Then they will surely crush us. The time has come to settle things with firearms! <laughs> Curse them! Who cares who comes out on top? The main thing is to find a solution that works for us all. Well, come on then. Do you have a plan? Uh, uh, well, you know. Uh, how can I put it? Uh, um. <laughs> <laughs> I thought as much. Listen, let's think of something together. We've come this far, after all. <sighs> Thank you. That would be very welcome. At this mm. rate, there'll be no winners at all. 